How's it going everyone? District of Cards here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are opening 2017-18 AHL Hockey. Another throwback hockey box for you. Getting three autos per box on average as well as three silver foils and four team standouts per box. Odds on the back. So you're probably going to get two of the base silver foils, one of the SP, and then likewise for autographs since they fall 1 in 10 and 1 in 20 packs and you're getting 20 packs per box. Uh, interesting set. There's some AHL sets more recently that you know have a nice rookie crop, but in here, out of the regular set, you're going to get Rope Hints and Linus Allmark, who's been playing really well for the Bruins. And the big reason why we're opening this is Tage Thompson. He's got a card in here, uh, SP for the San Antonio Rampage, and he's one of the SP autographs as well. So this cost $39 from Steel City Collectibles, and if you're looking to open a hockey product that's pretty cheap. All of the AHL boxes uh, are pretty cheap. Whether you buy from DA or Blowout or wherever, uh, the only reason, or I guess I should say one of the big reasons that I opened this product was because the three autos, they have watered this set down, unfortunately, as years have gone on. Uh, we're down to like one auto and one numbered card in the most recent boxes. But again, it's only, you know, 30 something, 40 something dollars. Uh, so it's a very affordable product. Uh, it's something fun to rip if you just want to rip some hockey cards, maybe see some names that you recognize. So I'm completely falling apart with this because I wanted to get this out first. One of the things I forgot is you get a oversized mini team poster. So we got the Syracuse Crunch right there. That's kind of our box topper. And here are our packs. So I'll just get these out because this box is causing me all kinds of problems <laughs> and we will get to ripping. empty box off to the side my poor f1 2020 chrome box uh, that i will feature in every video because those boxes are like five grand now or even more than that i don't know uh that was a crazy purchase and i'm always just going to feature that in the back of check of videos it's funny, that's by far the most expensive product I've ever opened, and it has like no views on YouTube. I don't know why. Uh, people like looking at different kind of stuff, and that's why, we're, that's why we're opening this. So we'll start off here, look at the base. Just going through, you know, some names from the past, some people who, you know, probably aren't even in the league anymore. We'll look for those silver foils and hopefully get some nice autos. Uh, I'd really love to get the Linus out of the base set. That would be really awesome. Uh, just a base pack there. So we'll be pretty fast because we're pretty much just looking for a few of those inserts and a few autos and otherwise we'll kind of power through the, oh, we got a silver foil right there. Power through the rest of the base. Oh, and I just saw what it was right there. And that's a nice one. Former Sabres prospect. You know our Sabres fans here, Brendan Gooley. Don't think he's a part of the system anymore, but there's our first silver foil. You can see that in comparison to the base. Go on. And then Klimchuk. I think just any, any set that's going to give you three autos. That's kind of why I like products like Pro Debut as well. You know, of course, the, the value is not going to hold in the same way that it is going to be in their pro jerseys. Same with, like, collegiate stuff with football or basketball. But I like that you actually get things to look at in a set in terms of hits rather than ripping through this same amount of base and then you're just hoping for, you know, one big hit to save your box. And if the auto you get isn't something you like, well... You know, that's what you think your money's worth for. So it's why these old products are really appealing to me. Uh, I think we're going to continue doing it, especially for hockey cards. Uh, I'll try to find some more old Panini stuff. It's just kind of hard to find, uh, at least in the U.S. anyway. I've been looking at some of the Canadian websites, and they've got some interesting ones. It looks like we've got some kind of different border on this. That is a, oh, one of the team standouts, Carrot Sparks. There you go. It's kind of got like a cardboard old feel to it there. Um, I, yeah, I just want to keep finding those for, in reasonable prices. It's funny to watch they in there. So your rope of hints right there, one of the nicer ones from that base set. Trying to find them at a reasonable price, I'm watching old videos of people rip those Panini sets from, you know, 2011, 12, 13. And they're like, yeah, this box costs $60. This box costs $80. Like, uh, that's not really the case anymore. Uh, such as life that everything has gone up by quite a bit and hey there he is Tage Thompson so that is a short print right there Tage Thompson base 
Uh, he's an SP even in his base card, card number 115. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. We'd love to see him as one of the silver foils and of course as the auto. But I am very glad that we at least got him as the SP. So that was the bottom right stack. We got one of our team standouts. So we're gonna call one and four, one of our silver uh, inserts, silver foil inserts, and we will just keep on going. Now everyone's really looking forward to the cup coming out soon. I know I definitely am. For those of you who are ripping that, thank you for your service opening it. Uh, it's a little bit beyond my price range. We are definitely more of a affordable rip. That that dip into Topps Chrome back in that box, Topps Chrome F1 when it was $550 was by far the most I've ever spent on a box. So the north of eight, $900, $1,000 that the cup can can command is too much for me. They're next standouts there. Tyratty. I also like looking at these old sets because you remember all these old prospects you who know, were big names back then. Maybe it was a big pull in the hobby or someone you had high hopes for and you're like, oh, wonder whatever happened to them. A little trip down memory lane when you're opening something like this. Uh, another rope of hints. So we're definitely doubling up on our bases. Anders Johnson. Nothing going on in this upper right stack yet. Wonder if we'll get one of our autos out of here. We'll just keep on going through. And hey, we did. And it's Adam Ernie. So we got a Syracuse Crunch box topper, and then there's our first auto. So they're not backwards or anything. I guess they'll sneak up on you in the pack. And Adam Ernie, a name I at least recognize. There you go, auto number one, right there. So of course, Thompson is probably the, the biggest auto you're getting on it here. And in terms of value, again, mentioned that this box costs around $40 pre-tax US. Uh, and his auto I've seen on eBay sells for like maybe 50 bucks out of this product. So, you know, you're not, not doing this to make your money back, not doing it to make a profit. It's just gonna be uh, Dylan Strom right there. Connor Ingram, uh, just going to be something fun if you're trying to get something of a player that you like that is more affordable because certainly his Cup RPA and any of those early St. Louis Blues cards that he has are well beyond uh, the price point for, for most people. Got our next team standouts for Laval Rocket. Daniel Carr, on the team standouts pile. Bastion, Appleton. There you go. And Legacy. I'm trying to remember if it's this box or I haven't seen him go by and we already have a pretty big stack of base. But Kyle Connor has a card either in this or it might have been in uh, the year after this. And he was another potential chase, but I could be mistaking that for one of the other boxes I was thinking about getting. Uh, Lindbeck, a regular base schoolie there. And Oscar Lindblom. So we've still got plenty of hits coming. We're due two more silver foils and we're due two more autos. Let's see. I don't know, I don't have the full checklist memorized. So I wasn't sure if Ernie, if he is a SP. Oh, and there's one of our silvers right there. Dylan Strom is nice. Uh, no, so he's on card number 14. So he's one of the regular autos. So we haven't gotten our, our SP auto yet. Dylan Strom, silver, nice. So that's good at least, intriguing. It really, and seeing Linus would be really cool as well. He's somebody on some bad Sabres teams, you know, Casey DeSmith, another NHL right there. Uh, he, he looked like he was okay, but maybe not the best player. And hey, Aiden Hill, all right, he's got a nice auto. There's our next one for the Tucson Roadrunners. Aiden Hill, another one of the base autos. And yeah, he just, he kind of left Buffalo and people weren't too bothered either way about it. He played okay, but everyone was kind of all right with him going. And now look at him. I know the Bruins are a fantastic team and maybe it can be a little bit easier to play goalie on a great team, but wow, he, you have to play really well too. And he definitely is uh, in that system, you know, having Swayman in there as well. Really, really good. So happy for him. Unfortunately, it means that it's impacting the Atlantic division and anytime the Sabres 
are doing well, they now have to overcome a player that they can still have, but that's all right. Hopefully, Uko Pekalukinen will pan out, and it'll be, you know, good for everybody. We've got Graves. I wish there was a little something more obvious that if you were about to get one of the autos, but I don't know. If I see another Thompson, I guess I'll hold my breath. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like it's in its usual spot here. Gage Quinney. It's my pile of packs is starting to overflow. Timbalini, Svedberg, Francois, and Vaughn. We're down to four packs left. Got one auto and one silver coming out of this. And I, I'm not sure if there's anything in there. Let's see. We've got Roslovich. Oh, this could be an auto right here. Manitoba Moose. Nope, just stuck together. Brendan Lemieux, the former Sabre. Chinsky. There's Linus right there. Hey, nice. Glad we at least got a base of him. There's Linus Allmark. He had a cool... Was that pre-Minions mask? He's always had cool masks, but that's a cool one there. So glad to get Linus at least. Shostakov, three packs left. All right. I think they're just sticking together because they've, you know, permanently been, <laughs> these cards have been in the box for so long. Porter, longtime Amherk, and oh, looks like our last auto there is a Hershey Bear, the Hamburglar right there, and Lucas Johansson is our last auto from Hershey, and he's not one of the SPs, so it doesn't look like, unfortunately, we got one of the SP autos out of this box. They are all from the regular, the regular numbering under 100, but a nice little diaspora of teams there, Hershey, Syracuse, and Tucson, Radovich, Tommy Cross, Julian Gunther, and then we think we might have one more team standout and one more silver coming out of these packs, so let's see. I'll just kind of fly through our base a little faster. Jesse Pugliarvi right there for the Condors. Devon Taves. And this should have a silver in it, hopefully. Paca, Moy, Abe Kubo, and we, hope we got our last Hartford Wolf pack. Uh, team stands out, Cole Schneider, Hunter Miska, Austin Krauss and Amadio. So unfortunately, unless I missed one of the silvers in my uh, haste flipping through, we might not have gotten all three, which is a shame. Uh, if I have passed it, let me know. I'll actually just do a quick review afterwards and I'll, I'll see if I can find it. But here's a recap. So we got Gooley and Dylan Strom on our silvers. We got four team standouts, Cole Schneider, Dylan Carr, Forsbacher Carlson and Garrett Sparks. And then our three autos, we got the whole representation of a team here. We got Aiden Hill and goal, Lucas Johansson for the Bears in defense, and then an Adam Ernie auto for left wing. And then my personal favorites, at least we got a Linus and a Tate Thompson out of that. Pretty cool. All right, so this has been AHL 2017-18. Hope you enjoyed. This has been District of Cards, and I'll see you in another video soon.